The mechanism of cortical granule exocytosis is similar to that of the exocytosis of the acrosome, and it may involve many of the same molecules. Upon fertilization, the concentration of free calcium 2 plus in the egg cytoplasm increases greatly. In this high calcium environment, the cortical granule membranes fuse with the egg cell membrane, releasing their contents. Once the fusion of the cortical granules begins near the point of sperm entry, a wave of cortical granule exocytosis propagates around the cortex to the opposite side of the egg. In sea urchins and mammals, the rise in CAR2 plus concentration responsible for the cortical granule reaction is not due to an influx of calcium into the egg, but rather comes from within the egg itself. The release of calcium from intracellular storage can be monitored visually using calcium-activated luminescent dyes such as equirin, like GFP, a protein isolated from luminescent jellyfish, or fluorescent dyes such as Vera2. These dyes emit light when they bind free CAR2+. When a sea urchin egg is injected with dye and then fertilized, a striking wave of calcium release propagates across.